Mr. Chair. Uh, the Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr. Chair, I appreciate that Mr. Robertson's doing a leadership uh, application at the moment, but it doesn't change the fact. It doesn't change the fact that his intellect continues to be a mile wide and an inch deep. This Mr. Robertson, Mr. Speaker, just throws masses of platitudes at the world, talks about all this stuff, but actually doesn't actually have any sort of plan, also knows nothing about what's going on in the world. To give you a little bit of an example, right now, 80% of all 15 to 19 year olds in New Zealand are in education. 80% of them. Mr. Robertson doesn't want to know that. There's actually only 15,000, still more than we would like, but only 15,000 people who are not in education and not in employment who are 15 to 19. Less than 5% of the total cohort of 310,000 people, Mr. Speaker. The reality is we're doing the things that Grant wants to do. I mean, he hasn't actually bothered to look, so he just flops around like some platitudinous leadership applicant for the Labour Party and tries to suggest that he could actually do something about it, Mr Speaker. And the other reality is he says, talk about the record. Well, the record of this government. Let's compare our growth rate in 2012 with the EU. Well, they went backwards, we went forwards. Let's compare it with the UK. They went backwards, New Zealand went forwards. New Zealand was one of the fastest growing economies in the OECD in 2012 and no platitudinous spin by our dear friend Grant Robertson, applicant for leadership of the Labour Party can actually hide that whatsoever. Were we faster growing than Japan? Yes, we were. Were we faster growing than Canada? Yes, we were. Were we faster growing than the US? Yes, we were, Mr Chair. We were growing faster as an economy. We are one of the fastest growing economies in the OECD, which is actually quite a miracle when you look at the state of the place in 2008, where it's kind of sort of Grant Robertson wants to forget, but actually... New Zealand went into a domestic recession before the GFC. It was before. It was a shameful situation. Before the global financial crisis, the Labour government of the day had sent New Zealand into its own recession over that period, Mr Speaker. So there you have it. You have the Labour Party's applicant for leader, Grant Robertson, out there saying, I'm concerned about the regions, what we need is a plan, doesn't read anything what's going on currently, knows nothing about what's happening in tertiary education, which, let's face it, he was in for his entire life before he went to work for the old Prime Minister. To Helen Clark, knows absolutely nothing about it, never does the reading, never does the work, spouts on about apprenticeships despite the fact that the government is actually spending more on them now than ever before, and actually tries to pretend that he knows something about the economy. Well, I'll tell you what, Mr Chair, the, the country would rue the day that Grant Robertson was let anywhere near an economic lever, Mr Chair, they would rue the day, and as for his little parrot friend, Mr Clark, actually spouting something about the economic record for the last 50 years, you actually have to say more than that, even though he's, he thinks being a poly actually means being a parrot rather than a politician. Thank you, Mr Chair. The, um, I call Maggie Barry. Thank you, Mr Chair. Uh, after that substantial and all...